Hey guys. I know it looks like a uh, Todd Rexford epicenter. He even signed it. But what's throwing me off are the proportions. It's definitely bigger, a little more overbuilt, maybe a little less refined. That doesn't mean it doesn't work as well. It does, but, but these proportions are uh, not necessarily what we're used to from Todd. But it is a Todd Rexford. And I talked to him a little bit about it. And he said it's an early piece. So obviously he has uh, refined his style a bit over the years. That said, so many of his hallmarks of what we recognize as a Rexford are here. That pivot, for instance, the uh, uh, thumb jimping, even the profile. It's pure Rexford, and, and again, this is an epicenter, so it, this is still in his lineup. The, the clip hasn't even varied that much over the years. Beautiful uh, standoffs, just beautiful. Oh yeah, reason for that color is that blade's a 6K blade, Stellite. <laughs> it's a fun piece. The handles are uh, black G10. Liners are blasted titanium. You saw me flick it once. This thing flicks like a Rexford. Uh, that's the only way to describe it. Lock release is easy. The resistance is great. Blade's dead center. <laughs> Just like a Rexford. The edge is original. There's no little nicks there. It doesn't, doesn't appear to have ever been used. That said, there's a couple of scuffs. I'm going to show them to you. There's one right there. And there's a second one right there. Oops. That was close. Nice swedge. Typical of Todd's work, but this one is uh, uh, when he was a young maker. Like every Rexford, they're just fun to flick. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.